What's going on YouTube? Cole Bells here back with another Series 12 video and today we're finally kicking off our how to train your series and uh, we're starting off with Kyogre here. So basically um, my intention here was to you know show you guys different EV spreads of certain Pokemon that are used a lot and uh, just show you different spreads based on what's on the team and the item that it's holding. Uh, and maybe certain move sets would also affect uh, what it does. Okay, so I feel like there's a lot of different ways to play certain Pokemon, especially the restricteds. And the goal here is to give you like certain spreads that I think are optimal based on the situation. Now, um, sometimes you know people they would just go on Picolytics and find the first spread that they see, copy that, and put it on their team. I think that's a mistake um, because you know every time I would ask them, do you know what the spread does? And they say, no, I just copied it from Picolytics. And I was like, you can't do that because, you know, certain spreads are specific for certain teams because they have certain things. And if your team doesn't have that, then that spread doesn't make sense, right? So always understand and know what the spread does before you take it. Otherwise, it just doesn't make sense. All right. And if you don't know, ask. <laughs> okay. Um, but generally, the formula is like, take a look at the speed tier. Um, because that's always the first thing that, um, you know, when you're team building, that's always the first thing you want to EV for. Um, and then take a look at the bulk. Okay. And then um, also look at the common moves uh, that is on, on there. You know, if, if you had to use Picolytics. And then maybe you can figure out what it's doing. And then also evaluate like certain threats in the meta. Um, because if it has a certain amount of bulk, like let's say defense bulk over here, or even like special defense, then maybe you're trying to live something um, from a super effective attack. Uh, and in this case, you know, I'm thinking like Rillaboom or Regieleki, right? Those are the two big threats that, you know, you would want to live if you're a Kyogre um, based on certain tools that you have on the team. Um, and then of course the speed tiers, you know, also depending on what you have on the team. So that's my disclaimer, right? Um, but I have six Kyogres here just because uh, we're gonna have um, six common items that Kyogre likes to have. And then we'll show you some EV spreads that are, you know, good for, for that item. Now, that being said, I'm not saying like it's the bit end all um, spread. You know, it might inspire you to take my spread and tweak it just a little bit based on um, what you have, or at least, you know, give you some ideas on what to think about in terms of making a spread for a Pokemon with a certain item. Okay, so, but for Kyogre, here's what we're gonna do we're gonna put something like Mystic Water on this. All right, then we have the um, Assault Vest Ogre, which I think is pretty good. Uh, and then you have something like Leftovers Ogre. And the thing is you would want Leftovers if you were running like a, a Calm Mindset with Protect. Um, same thing with um, Assault Vest. I feel like most Assault Vest Kyogres, because they want to Dynamax, they have Max Strike and um, Hyper Beam is usually on those Ogres, right? So again, very specific for certain Ogres. Um, and then from here, you know, I've seen stuff like Life Orb, Life Orb Ogre. That's Life Dew. That's because I put it in moves. Um, but yeah, here's the Life Orb. And over here, <laughs> the infamous uh, Choice Scarf, uh, I would say. And there's also another one that I want to do with Mystic Water. Um, but this one is going to be for like Trick Room stuff. So this Ogre is something like with Tailwind. Okay. This one is going to be um, Trick Room Ogre. All right, so both of them, um, they're gonna have different types of speed tiers, right? So we have a Tailwind Ogre, we have a Trick Room Ogre, we've got the AV Ogre, just renaming these things. And then this this is a Calm Mindset with leftovers. And then this is Life Orb, also Dynamax Option Ogre, and then this the Scarf, right? So that's my six, right? So now, um, we figure out how we're going to build these depending on what else we have uh, on the team. So let's go ahead and get started. All right. I mean, I'm just going to start off with the, um, the Scarf Ogre here because, you know, <laughs> the, there's only really one way to you, you want to do this. And um, that's just going to be either Timid. Yeah, that's just going to be Timid and then just this, right? And the reason why, you know, you would want something like Timid over something like Modest in terms of the, the Scarf Ogre um, it's just for, for Calyrex Shadow Rider, just to be able to outspeed it. Um, because remember, the Choice Scarf gives you a plus one already, and it locks you in the move. But like, if you do the math, if you're a Modest Ogre, like 142 at plus one, which is times 1.5, it's only about 213. So, you know, you're a little bit short um, in trying to outspeed it. So that's why you have to go like Timid here. 
um, and then now you outspeed the the Calyrex. And generally, these teams don't have like Tailwind. Um, they're usually on like slower teams. You know, something like with Grimmsnarl or maybe one Airstream user. So that's that's really the only way you would want to try and use a Scarf Ogre. <laughs> All right, but I, by the way, I don't like Scarf Ogre. Um, I don't like any of the choice items. Like you'll never see me use Specs that much, or even Scarf. Like if you've been a fan of the channel for a while, you know I don't use those items. I, I, I <laughs> so um, yeah, that that's our Scarf Ogre. Really, nothing else to say except you know you just want to be um, max max, and then just you know put the Scarf on it, outspeed the Calyrex, and then deal a bunch of damage. All right, so let's look at some more interesting ogres here. Okay, so let's start off with like the Tailwind Kyogre. So usually these teams are running like, you know, Tailwind with Tornadus. Maybe they'll have a Zacian on it. And then, you know, Incineroar, uh, maybe one Airstream user and usually like Rillaboom or Amoongus, something like that. Okay, so, you know, if you have Tailwind on the team, um, the main thing you want to outspeed with your Tailwind is um, the Regilecki, right? And Regilecki is going to be hitting um, that 276 mark. So you want to be able to outspeed. I think it actually is 277. So... If you go Modest Ogre, right, which I think is good if you're running Tailwind, um, if you're going this kind of Ogre, then what you want is um, at least 139, right? Because then this will outspeed Aleki by one point because 139 with plus two, right? It's uh, 278. So definitely want to consider that. All right, and then the rest just goes into your attack and that tiny bit of bulk left over in your HP, right? And this is what I mean. So. I can just go to the third EV bump like this, okay, which is uh, 220, all right, and then from here, look, I got 44 points left over um, for bulk, and then I can just put them, you know, something like this, and then I'm done, and that's my, that's my Mystic Water um, Tailwind Kyogre that's meant to outspeed Regilecki. Now, that being said, you know, you know that other ogres are going to be doing that too, so then you just go one speed above it and then just speed creep them. Okay, and you might think like this tiny bit of bulk doesn't matter. It actually does because if you do the damage count, I'm not going to show it here because uh, I just want to like quickly go through these. But if you do the the, the damage count here, this is actually going to help you survive um, play rough from Zacian. Because if I didn't have this bulk, if I if I just did this, okay, um, and then where, where is it? And then just max out my speed like this. Um, the the player up from Zacian actually has a 25% chance to KO the Ogre. That's actually huge. I want to live that. So by doing something like this, where you know I just have enough speed for that Aleki, um, and then get my defensive bulk in there, um, then now I'm in business because now what this does is uh, now I have a tiny bit of bulk where I have. Um, survival capabilities against Zacian's player off, which is big, right? Because he's not clicking Behemoth Blade, he's not KOing me like that. Uh, but yeah, that's generally how you want to do it. Um, you can even do something like this and then just invest in the in the bulk. And then if you want, you can max out the, the speed like this. Um, that's also fine as well. But the idea is, you know, you're, you're outspeeding Aleki and then you have a little bit of bulk to survive um, Zacian's, all right? The player off, that means, all right? Um, now we'll go into Trick Room. So more or less the same idea in terms of like what we want to do in terms of our, our special attack bulk. You know, definitely want to go into um, something like this where you go to the third bump. But instead of investing all that speed, um, now what we'll do is we'll make it slower. And I think just 112 is good enough. Um, and if you watch my other videos, right, 112 is a very good speed tier because at plus one you outspeed base 100s and then at plus two you outspeed Calyrex Shadow Rider so very very convenient uh, it's like one of those holy magical numbers of VGC um, and again um, with Trick Room you, now you have the option of potentially being slower than some Groudons and you can change the weather on them on entry which is really really nice um, but yeah this is what you want and then from here you have a lot of leftover EVs for your bulk. And that's the idea, right? You, you decide on your speed tier, you invest in your attacking stat, and now you figure out what to do with your bulk. Um, so from here, what I like to do is I just like to do a little bit of optimization with my HP. I think 191 is enough. Um, this way, if there's like, if they change the weather on me, like for sand chip or hail chip, or if I Dynamax myself, um, because sometimes, you know, I'll be running Ice Beam on my Ogres, um, instead of like thunder and then clicking hailstorm just to like change weather on the groudons 
um, in certain scenarios. Um, then I optimize it like this, so this way I don't take as much chip. Um, and then from here, I just add leftover bulk into my defense. So I can do that easily. Now, that being said, you could do something like this, where you add a little bit more HP, you actually just max it, and then just do something like this. Um, that's fine too, okay? There, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but I'm just showing you like what I like to do, or what I think is good. But as long as you have the speed tier and the special attack in mind, then you're fine. And then from here, you just want to like look at some like defensive bulk. And we'll show some damage calcs at the end when we go through some of these spreads. Um, just to show you like what exactly are we living. But I like to do it like this. And then just even it out with um, good defensive bulk like this. Alright, so this is our Trick Room Ogre. We're very slow. We're meant to, you know, under speed some of those uh, base 100 speed creepers. Like some of them will go to 113. So we'll undercut them. And with the Airstream, we'll outspeed the base 100s, and then of course the Caloric Shadow Riders um, at plus two. So that's our that's our Trick Room Ogre. So let's look at um, another kind of Ogre. This is the Assault Vest Ogre. So now the main thing you want to remember with the Assault Vest Ogre um, is you want that even number in your special defense. So if I do something like this, this is not optimal because I have an odd number. And when you multiply by 1.5, um, it comes out to a decimal and then Pokemon will round that stat down and then you're not getting the best bang for your buck for um, The assault vest so you always want an even number something like this 162 All right, so that's good and because ogre is so bulky as it is in the special defense look at that 140 That's really all you need um, And now you're just kind of chilling you can survive like Regilecki life orb thunder Okay, I'll even show you that at the end, but Yeah, very very bulky and then like life or Venusaur stuff um, like Dynamax, Life Orb, Venusaur, you know, Max, G Max, Vine Lash, that's not going to kill you either. So very, you're kind of chilling with the Assault Vest. Um, and then from here, you know, if you just want like a moderately speed, speedy Ogre, um, I think 120 is a good benchmark if you don't have Tailwind on the team, right? So what 120 does is with a plus one Airstream, you outspeed um, Defiant Thunderous, right? Which is another threat to Kyogre because. You know, our physical defense is not that great, so Defiant Thunderous uh, poses a big threat into um, Kyogre in general. So if we can outspeed it um, with um, either, you know, some Airstream user on our team or with this Hyper Beam, that's good. Um, with Max Strike, I mean, yes, I understand you'll give it a, a boost, but you get what I'm saying, right? The, the, the speed. So then from here, what you want is, um, you know, you want some attack, but like not completely max because this is meant to be like you know a bulky ogre all right so you can just go to the second ev bump like this and then just do what i was doing last time you know just adding enough bulk here in the hp and physical defenses and now you have a bulky ogre in both physical and special defense all right and and you still have a good amount of special attack where you're dealing like look good damage like look at that stat 209 with the rain your 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 ogre is doing a lot of damage and remember this is a dynamax candidate on the team you know because a lot of these teams with assault vest ogre they only have like one airstream user that they're going to dynamax sometimes it's usually the zapdos or the landers you know if it's like zation ogre teams so you need another dynamax candidate and the ogre is a good one to have because like max geyser in the rain from ogre does a lot of damage as does like hailstorm and stuff so um this is a good ogre spread and this will help you against like um, Rillabooms that are going for Grassy Glide if you have like Intimidate or Reflect on the team. So generally very, very good. Um, and you'll obviously be able to take those Zacian player offs better, right? You won't get one shot um, because we have a little bit more bulk than um, this one over here. So yeah, that, by little, I mean like a lot. So that's our Assault Vest Ogre. Um, and again, if you have like Assault Vest Ogre on a Trick Room team, then just do what I was doing here. So then you would just do back to 112. All right, and then you can just add more into their special attacking stat, or you can just add more in your bulk, All right? It, I leave it up to you, but the, the idea is if you know your speed tier, then these leftover EVs can go wherever you want, depending on what you want, all right? And what else you have on the team. So for example, I could just do it like this, you know, that's fine too, um, or I can leave it like that, and then just you know keep investing more in my defensive bulk like this you know and then now i'm really chilling against the fine thunders right so it, it, it really all depends on what you um want as long as you have your even number in your assault vest um special defense then then you're just kind of chilling right so i'll leave it at that i think i took one off here 
All right, there we go. There's my original one. So let's go to another kind of ogre, the calm mindset. All right, so again with the calm mindset, uh, you know, you're you're just meant to be dealing like a bunch of damage and then you know set up with your special attack and special defenses, right? So you're not going to go like max special attack like this, right? You're you're just going to go a little bit, you know, just second EV bump because you're getting a bonus anyway from calm mind and. You know, generally with this, uh, because you have leftovers, you want to optimize your HP so that you get the maximum amount of recovery. So if you, you're not going to 191 anymore, you're going to 192, okay? Because if you do the math, right, 192 divided by 16, that gives you 12, right? If you were to, if you had to do it on your calculator. So you're getting 12 HP recovery per turn. Whereas if I did this, 191, now I'm only getting about 11.9. So I'm undercutting myself in my leftovers recovery. So I break the threshold and I go to 192, all right? And then from here, again, you're deciding your speed tier, right? If you are, you know, trick room, um, then you go 112 and then you just add a little bit, um, you get that even number in special defense and then you just dump the rest here in, in your bulk, like this. This is, this is um, a Calm Mind Bulky Ogre in trick room, okay? If there is no trick room on the team and if you're just um, something with like Sokaleo on it, you know, you just want to go for like Calm Mind stuff, with no trick room or something then you at least want to outspeed thunderous again so always go for that 120 benchmark and now again here you just dump the rest in your physical defense okay and again if you don't like that if you rather do something like this where like you max out the hp and then have a little bit of defense left over then that's okay too right i just want to do some quick math here um uh okay so 12 times yeah okay anyway but yeah if you want to do it that way that's also fine but i think this is okay too um so yeah that's our that's our bulkier um call mine ogre spread and again i can't stress it enough always figure out your speed tier first because that's going to dictate how much evs you have left over to put elsewhere all right so let's keep on going okay so i think the last one's a scarf but then the life orb ogre okay so the life orb ogre um again is uh, another good Dynamax candidate, but the key here is um, optimizing the HP for the Life Orb recoil, right? So again, you're not gonna be like fully maxing out your Ogre's attack because you have a Life Orb. You don't need to, you're dealing so much damage, you wanna invest in your bulk. All right, and again, decide your speed tier. Are you Trick Room Ogre or are you um, just a normal standard speedy Ogre, right? Um, so I'm gonna go to 120 again. Um, I don't have Calm Mind or AV, so I can just put one point here, and it's fine. Now, the main thing is my HP stat. So there's a few things I can do, and it depends on how you wanna do this, all right? Now, you can just go to 179, and then just dump the rest here, okay? Or like, you, all right, so then if you do it like this, then you can just do this, right? You can just max out the Ogre, and then put the rest in, in defense, and then you can just do it like this, right? Um, that's okay. Uh, just make sure when you do like your intimidate and reflect cloud, uh, reflect damage calcs, you still survive like the Rillaboom stuff, um, or even like the Venusaur stuff. So just make sure about that. Um, but if not, if you want to go a little bit more, then you can go to 189, okay, and then you can just dump the rest like this into into defense. Um, I will put one more point into special attack like this 210, just because. Um, Life Orb is um, 1.3 damage. Actually, let me take a look at this. Um, if I just do some quick math here. All right, yeah, okay, so um, 210 and 1.3, right? You get a perfect um, number, 270 degrees, so that's pretty good. Um, yeah, again, this is a, a bulkier Kyogre spread with good amount of HP and physical defense where like, you know, if I have Reflect or um, Intimidate, you know, I'll be living like the, the strongest Rillaboom attacks uh, with the Grassy Glide. Now, Woodhammer is a different story, but if you can get both Reflect and Intimidate off, then you're, you're, you're still okay. But again, another good Dynamax candidate with the, with the Ogre, again, probably might have Hyper Beam. Maybe it doesn't. It really all depends on what you want on the team. But again, if you are something like, you know, Trick Room Ogre with Life Orb, once again, you just go to 112, all right? And then you invest this um, however you want. Um, you have 64 EVs to play with. You can just dump the rest in, in special attack or maybe you can add, add a little more in defense. It, it really all depends on your damage calcs. 
um, like I can just do this like there's and then I would just undercut this all right and now I'm just chilling right I hit the bump um, and then I had leftovers left and I just put it in, in defense so this is like a trick room life orb ogre um, is what I'm saying but if there's no trick room on your team then you know just um, go normal ogre like this and then just dump the rest here all right so I optimized my life orb chip I have my speed tier in mind and then the rest just went into my um, special attack uh, so yeah this is how you do it so like you see the difference in the spreads right like this is scarf ogre which is just 252252 two, two. this is a life orb ogre um, but again our, our speed tiers are more or less similar right like it, it all depends like are you for tailwind which will give you like a, a big amount of speed investment uh, and not that much bulk because you just want to deal big damage and be really fast or do you go the bulkier route with trick room where you don't have speed at all basically and just go for damage or go for bulk you know here I could even like change this um, but I'll leave it as it is and then even the assault vest like the assault vest calm mine and life orb variants they all have like almost the same spreads it's just like these tiny little things just to optimize them a little more um, just based on you know the current needs or the current item demands that you have on the squad right so that's what I mean by you know how to EV train certain Pokemon because um, the spreads are slightly different right it all depends on on what you have so hopefully um, you got an idea of how to do things like even if even if my even if you don't like my spread for certain things like hopefully it inspires you um, to give you an idea on how to make your own spread right and and again I'll stress it enough speed tier attacking stat um, what am I trying to live uh, in terms of uh, a damage calc is it a lucky or is it really boom all right so now we'll go into that damage section and show you a few of those calcs okay so let's look at our first calc oh I can't you can't see it here so this is our assault vest ogre uh, going against like timid life orb regilecki with like thunder um, and then look at this like non dynamax by the way so Regilecki's Thunder, you know, does a considerable amount of damage. But again, you don't kill the Ogre because we have the luxury of the Assault Vest, right? And then from here, look at how much damage we're doing with everything else here. Now, what if we were to like Dynamax this? Okay, um, you can even do like 252 here and it still wouldn't even like kill. And then I'll just take away its bulk. Like, let's just say there's people like this. Okay, so again, you know, Regilecki Dynamax this goes for Max Lightning again. We don't die and then we just kill it right back with like max geyser stuff or and, and then this is what i mean like assault vest kyogre is such a good dynamax uh, candidate so that's why people use it um and that's why you have the bulk um the way it is because you lift certain things and then your dynamax moves still hit like a truck and then you know your origin pulses at the end are still doing like big damage because you have the ring so um that's what i wanted to show you here now what about like rillaboom stuff can you live like rillaboom stuff so again yes you can um, if I just go here, um, custom set, yeah, so like a Miracle Seed, Adamant, Rillaboom with like Wood Hammer. So because, you know, this is the other thing, like Wood Hammer um, doesn't kill your Ogre with our bulk. Now, I know we're Dynamax, but if we had to go for it, okay, um, we do survive it. This is Adamant 252 Miracle Seed Rillaboom, the strongest Rillaboom attack. No Intimidate, no Screens, okay? You live the raw wood hammer if you're Dynamax. All right. Obviously, if you don't, if you don't max, um, you're dead. Okay. Um, now, same thing with Grassy Glide. That's a that's a good role here. But if I have Reflect Up, usually you know you have Grimstar on this team, right? With like Zacian and then Incineroar and then you know an Airstream user. So if I have Reflect Up, I'm chilling from Grassy Glide. Grassy Glide, Adamant 252, Rillaboom. It ain't killing me. Okay, and then look how much Ice Beam does to Rillaboom. It, it does so much, right? This is assuming it has a little bit of special defense. Um, and if it's Assault Vest, then you're not doing that much damage uh, as it is anyway. So um, just keep that in mind. Now, Wood Hammer, yes, you still kill, even with Reflect. Um, now, you are going to need a little bit of help from Incineroar or Landris with the, the Intimidate. But you can live the Wood Hammer, all right? And then it'll do big damage to itself. And then you just KO it with Ice Beam, right? Um, and it looks like it will finish that off. So keep that in mind. This is what I mean by, you know, doing your EV spreads and figuring out what you want to cop. All right. So hopefully that um, gives you an idea. Now let's just show one more cop with the Ogre. Okay, so this is what I mean, right? You see the player of damage? Um, we, we can live in, right? So if we live and then have the opportunity to go for an Origin Pulse, like I know it doesn't kill, but 
you know, if you've chipped the Zacian enough where you can put it in a spot where Origin Pulse can kill, um, then you just KO it, right? And this is this is play rough. Um, now, if I didn't have this this tiny amount of bulk that you guys think don't matter, um, then the player off now has a 25% chance to KO. And that's like, you know, that's kind of big. You know, if, if, if you told me I had a 25% chance to win the lottery, I like my odds. <laughs> All right, it's not great odds, of course, but you know, it is odds. So that tiny bit of investment did matter. Um, so that's why, you know, you you might even like under undercut your speed a little bit just so that you're still faster than Oleki and then a little bit of more bulk so this way you can guarantee you live that player up. So I just wanted to show that to you and prove that even the tiniest bit of bulk matters, all right? So now let's go into the wrap up section. Okay, so now here's like uh, the pokey pace of some of the ogre spreads that we did. Um, again, you see the the Tailwind and Trick Room Ogre on the team with Mystic Water just dealing a bunch of damage. The only main difference is like the speed tiers um, because in the Trick Room, I've invested more in the bulk and less in the speed. Um, the Assault Vest Ogre, more or less the same idea. Um, if I'm going for that Thunderous Speed tier, then I just want second EV bump in my special attack. The rest just gets dumped into bulk. The same idea goes for like um, Calm Mind and Life Orb Ogre. Again, similar, the, the same speed tier. Just like the item difference changes the spread just a tiny bit. Obviously with the Assault Vest, I want that even number in the Special Defense. And then the rest just, just goes into my HP and my Defense Bulk. Leftover, same idea. One above my 124 investment, I go to 132 just to get 192 HP stat. And then the rest just gets dumped into Defense. Life Orb Ogre, again, same idea. I just go to um, a good HP number that ends in 9. And then the rest just gets dumped into my Defensive Bulk. Um, more or less the same idea. And then Scarf Ogre is the only one that goes 252, 252. I don't really think there's any other need for it. Now, what I also want to show you is this. Um, uh, yeah, it was this one, right? I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. So I've, I've, I've given you a, a couple of two bonus spreads here. Like, if you want, like, Tailwind, but, like, not as much special attack investment and prefer to be even more bulky, I've given you this one. I've titled it, you know, with Tailwind, you outspeed Aleki Speed Creepers, right? And then you survive still Zacian Behemoth Blade Adamant. Adamant Zacian Behemoth Blade because look at our um, defensive bulk here. So that's pretty cool. Um, 76 special attack is only the first EV bump, but like it's Kyogre. It still does pretty good damage. Um, and yeah, you, no, in the best of three, nobody's calking for these things, right? They assume you're like 252, 252. You know? So it's good to have some defensive bulk in the best of three. Um, to surprise your opponent this one is just straight up with tailwind but less special attack more bulk so instead of 236 third ev bump um you go to 156 um and then you just dump the rest into your hp and then you know that it's just a little bit more bulk um if you don't want so much special attack so those are two bonus spreads here but i think you know what i've given you here is just a good idea of how to do certain things based on the item the speed tier that you want um, and what else do you have on the team? Is there like Airstream or Tailwind or something like that? Trick Room, okay? Let me know if you like these kind of videos and um, I was gonna do Sogaleo next, um, but again, all this stuff we do um, a little bit more in depth when you do one-on-one -on -one coaching with me um, with, the, with the channel, tier three sub. Um, and again, it's very affordable, 9.99 is all you need where we sit down in the Discord call and we do this, where we build the team from scratch, we hash out all the EVs, um, I optimize something that even you had um, and just make it a little bit better based on what I think is prominent in the meta at the moment. And you know, this is regional time. This is where like also other online tournaments are happening to prep for those regionals. So if you want to compete in those tournaments or even the regional coming up, um, definitely consider booking a session with me um, and we'll see what you got and we'll see if we can make it a little bit better than what you started with. All right. So definitely give that some consideration. We'll be back next time with more Series 12 content. Until next time, guys. Peace out.